Yeah. Hi, I'm Matt, and this is 52 Weeks, a series about nostalgia and life lessons currently hosted in my parents' basement surrounded by all my stuff, because I'm in the middle of moving. A couple months ago, my friend JD called me up and said, Hey Matt, my hairdresser invited me to go motorbiking. Yin? <laughs> Yes. I expect a backflip today, nothing less, baby. I first thought that this was going to be something small, but then people just kept showing up. And it turned into what I found out to be a freaking pilgrimage of like five or six families out to the desert to enjoy motocross and good food. So, how cool is that? There are kids roaming left and right on on tiny motorcycles and people hanging off the back of four-wheelers. This is literally a group of guys that were so tight in high school that 10 years later are still committing to bring out their entire family, wife and children, just to go hang out and enjoy life for a couple days camping in the desert. And I was a little overwhelmed to be included in this, like, on a whim, when this was the sacred time that they got every year to come together as a group of friends. Oh man, that was, that was fun. Yes, I will give to you. Yes, I will give to you. In high school, did you guys ever think about where you were going to be in 10 years? These guys said, ripping it across the desert with my smoking hot wife in my brand new KTM 350AXC. And guess what? They're doing it. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Drag Race. Ooh. Ooh. Race for a Mine's a 300. His is a 450, I think. This is a 350. Oh, 350. 350. His is a Steven match okay. almost. Race, race, race. Should we all line up? Oh, we kissed on the lips. And you said, close your eyes, but I missed. Oh, we choke up listening to our own songs. And it feels right, like we've been alive too long. Why does everything we hear about growing up have to be so dull and boring? I mean, I'm stressing, <laughs> yeah, every single day about growing up and everything that comes with it. Sure, we have more responsibility, but at the same time, I feel like that responsibility comes with the need to, I don't know, take care of your mental health and have some fun every once in a while. To this group of families, this was complete happiness. And they've worked their tails off for the past decade to make sure friends and family are close and they can have the equipment needed to go out and just have a good time. This is something they've worked for since they were kids in high school, and it's a reality now. Sometimes it's nice to remember that you can Think about some of the fun things you want to accomplish over the next 10 years rather than just thinking about the stressful parts of growing up. Do you want to become a local darts champion? Do you want to visit every state? Do you want to ride a bull more than once? So you can say this ain't my first rodeo or ride through the desert on your KTM with your smoking hot wife. What do you want in 10 years? Stainless. Only, 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 only,